Hi, it's Tybug, and we're going to Japan. And I say we because you guys are coming with me. <laughs> Let's go. And we're in Tokyo. I got in last night at like 12 p.m. So it was a, a very tiring night. Very, um, I was very tired. And if you can tell by my outfit, we are going to Tokyo Disneyland right now. So um, it's currently, that's not the time. That's the um, my home time. I think it's like 6.30 in the morning. So I'm gonna go eat something for breakfast. I'm staying at a really cool hotel, so maybe I'll show a little bit around. But then I'll be going to Tokyo Disneyland and I'm gonna have a whole separate video for my adventures there and like the things I'm doing there. So I'm gonna link that right up here. Wait, it'll be on the side. I'm gonna link that right up here. The elevator to heaven. The elevator out of heaven because we went the wrong way. Oh. So I got us lost because I was trying to avoid this whole school of boys because I feel like I'm dressed like a SLUT because I have a lot of leg exposed and nobody else. I mean, and a little bit of my midriff, but I mean, I'm dressed like a. <laughs> I'm just like an American, okay? And I feel very American here and I don't want to feel American. I want to I want to feel not American. Ah, we're late. Okay, Abida said, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> we're on the train to Disney. Good morning. It is currently 6.54. It's basically 7. We're going to go down and eat breakfast now. It is our second day on our Japan trip. And today we are going to Tokyo Disney Sea. Tokyo Disney Sea is unique to Japan and I've heard it's one of the best parks. So I'm going to see if that's true. I'm sure it is. I had so much fun yesterday and I hope I have a lot of fun today. But maybe with a little less pain. I'm going to do a little bit of stretching so my back doesn't hurt as much. So yeah, I will check in with you guys at breakfast. And then we'll go to the park and I will link my Tokyo Disney Sea vlog right up here. Okay, see you in like a minute. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. We are fresh out of Tokyo Disney Sea, and we are now at a little, I don't know if it's little, but we are now at a Japanese mall called Ikspari. Ikispari? I don't want to butcher this name. I'll just write it right here. But we are here now, and there are actually a lot of uh, American or regular stores. This is literally my favorite burger place ever. And it is here in Japan? Oh my goodness! Their fries are literally the best. Although the mall stays open till 11 o'clock, all the stores are closing now and I guess there's nothing else to do other than eat, but we're not really hungry anymore, so we're just gonna hop onto the train and head back to our hotel. So, good night. Day two is POW. Good morning. It is our third day in Japan, and today we are leaving Tokyo and heading to Mount Fuji. We'll be hopping on a bus and doing a long bus ride there. I, I didn't notice, but my throat sounds a little bit raw. It sounds like my voice is a little bit gone, probably from Tower of Terror. <laughs> 
So we are an hour and a half into our journey to Mount Fuji and we just stopped for a bathroom break and we stopped at a little family mart. So I got these koala snacks that have a little chocolate filling. They're very kawaii, that's ne. And then we got some strawberry Kit Kats. They're not as sweet as I thought they would be, which I really like. They're kind of tart like actual strawberries. So I think they're very good, very accurate to a strawberry taste. And then we got some mints. My mom got some lemon mints because she can't handle the heat. And I got some regular minty mints. So now we have an hour left to um, Mount Fuji. And then after Mount Fuji, we're going to Hakone. So I will check in with you guys later. But I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I love Japan. This is my first time in Japan, if I haven't made that clear. And only my second time out of the country. <laughs> We're at Mount Fuji now, and I'm at the fifth stop station at the shrine. And you're not allowed to take pictures inside the shrine because um, it's a spiritual place. So what you do is you do a little money donation. You bow twice, clap twice, then you make your wish. Then after you make your wish, then you bow again to show respect. And right now it's really foggy here, so we probably won't be seeing Mount Fuji at all, but it's really nice. Though it's really cold too, though. There's a lot of shops here and a lot of food, so there's plenty of things to do. I'm on a horse. Yeah, I'm going with this. I'm on a horse right now, just walking around. We're not going to be going up to the 6th station because it's super cloudy, but just chilling on a horse. <laughs> Look at me, Tai Tai. We stopped for a quick steak lunch before heading to Hakone, and now we are at Lake Ashai. <laughs> Lake Ashi, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> and we're gonna go on a gondola and on the lake. So I'll show you guys to that. <laughs> he fell off a step. <laughs> we're now on the other end of Mount Fuji. I don't know, we're like some miles away, but we're going to look out to it. I see a clear view right now. Aquí, aquí estoy, mamá aquí. We're now hopping on a boat. We got off the gondola at 3.35 and the boat leaves at 4, 3.40. hotel at Hakone. Um, we have a view of a golf course which is really nice as long as I remember that we have a view of the golf course after I take a shower so I don't accidentally flash anyone. And while we're here we're getting a special kaisaki, kaiseki, a special kaiseki dinner which is a multi-course Japanese dinner. Um, I'll put little pictures of it and maybe some videos to see what it looks like. And then after that, there's actually a Japanese onsen in the hotel, so I will be going to that. Can't film there because obviously it's in the nude, but I will be putting some information, or I'll be talking about some information before I go, but that'll be after dinner. And you get to wear yukata, yukata and uh, sandals and 
it'll be something more traditional that we'll be doing on this trip. So I will see you guys at dinner. That was a lot to eat. I am so full. But uh, now I'm, it's 9.16 and we started that at 7 o'clock. So that was a very long process of getting all that food. We like had so many courses, but they're all like really small sample sizes. I think my favorite part was probably the tempura or the um, beef sirloin. Is that what they called it? The beef sirloin. But I feel like that's like the most American thing to like out of all of that. Which <laughs> is kind of embarrassing. But I tried a bite of everything and the things that I did like I ate it all. So I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna let my food digest for a little bit and then I'll get ready to go to the onsen. I'm heading to the onsen now. I'm in my yukata and I have my sandals on. And I will see you guys afterwards. So I just got back from the onsen. It is currently lip. It is currently 1049. I went down there at 10 o'clock. And since I went down so late, there actually wasn't anyone in there really. There was like a couple of ladies, but they left right when I was taking my bath beforehand. So what you do is you go down and just your underwear and then your robe and sandals then once you're down there then you put your sandals into a little cubby and then you put your robe and your underwear into a locker and this onsen had keys for the locker so you can lock your stuff up and the keys were like waterproof i guess because then you would put it around your wrist and you could put the key inside this little plastic container so you could protect your stuff so that's nice then you go into a separate room where they have a whole bunch of cubicles, showers, and you wash yourself. You wash your hair, you wash your body, you wash your face, because they have a whole bunch of like care goods that you can use on yourself, and they're all really nice, good quality. And you sit on a little stool and you have a little handheld shower head. Then after that, you have a little towel that's like, I would say it's enough to wrap around your waist or either your waist or your top, but not both. So then once you, you can choose not to use the towel too, if that suits you. <laughs> so then once you're all done bathing and you're all clean, then you can either go into an indoor onsen, so it's hot water and it's like a little mini pool that when you're standing, it's up to like your knees, but then when you sit down, it's like up to your shoulders, depending on how tall you are. I'm really short, so it was like perfect height for me. And then, um, then they have an outside onsen, which is not technically outside, it's like there's one open door, like one open wall that looks out into like a gated garden and then you have like the night sky it was so beautiful and the water was perfect. It's just gorgeous. And then um, they also had like a little mini um, room on the side that I guess is for kids because the water wasn't as hot and the water wasn't as deep, but it was still nice. So yeah, it was gorgeous so relaxing I had lower back pain from Disney so this really helped out and then once you're done then they have a big towel that you can dry off with and then a dispensary where you can put your towel goods your used towels and then they have a whole counter of mirrors with a hair dryer um, q-tips face pads lotion essences face mist it was goods galore if you love skincare, they got you. They got your back. But yeah, that was my experience at the onsen, and I am looking forward to doing it again. I may do it in the morning, but I'd have to wake up super duper early to do that, so maybe not, because I'm really tired. But yes, if you come to Japan and you have an option to go to an onsen, I recommend it. It's not that intimidating, because uh, everyone else is naked as well, so you're not the only one, and nobody cares. There, it was also gendered, so all the women were in one side and all the men were in one side. And if you choose the right time, maybe you'll be by yourself and get to relax and think. So it was awesome. So that is it for tonight. That's the end of my third day in Japan, and now it's time for bed. Good night. So 
This morning was very hectic. We ate breakfast and then we hopped on a bus for an hour and now we're on the Shinkansen, the bullet train to Osaka. Kyoto? We're heading to Kyoto, never mind. And the bullet train will be on here for two hours and I'm a little bit stressed, so I'm gonna relax for a bit. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm irritable. I don't know why, I wish I wasn't, but it is what it is. I had an extra three hours of sleep, so hopefully my mood improves by the time we get to the temples, which we are heading to now. We are in Kyoto, and the trip continues. <laughs> 